Hey everybody, Sean here from Bike Taylor. I uh, just thought I'd do a short video today just looking at a bike I just built up yesterday. Uh, it's uh, not a bike I thought I'd be buying uh, ever. Uh, I probably have been a little bit of an elitist in the past and uh, you know I've always been maybe a little bit hardcore with you know just straight up road bikes or cyclocross bikes or you know whatever but uh, yeah we've moved up to the Sunshine Coast here in uh, Queensland and uh, the weather's generally pretty good so I've decided I'm gonna start riding my bike in and out of work every day it's uh, about an 18 kilometer ride to and from so not crazy long but long enough that at the end of the day uh, I was thinking I might need a little bit of help so the bike that we landed up getting is a Velectrix. Uh, it's it's a new brand here in Australia uh, that's just started up. Um, they're doing some really price competitive uh, electric bikes um, and the one that I got is uh, specifically a commuter so it's the Brunswick model. It's uh, It's got all the things again yeah that I, I never thought I'd ever be wanting in a bicycle but uh, here we are. It's um, So it's got uh, a 250 watt uh, Baffang motor uh, mid-drive, uh, so I like that uh, just from everything I've heard. The mid-drive motors tend to deliver power in a slightly more uh, controlled manner. Um, I also like the idea of being able to remove the rear wheel easily uh, versus like the hub drive motors. Um, it's belt drive which is super appealing for commuting because it's, it's quiet, it's smooth and very clean. Uh, almost zero maintenance which is pretty awesome. Um, it's got a three-speed internal gearing system, a Shimano Nexus, which is their entry-level stuff. Uh, but, uh, you know, it, it kind of does the job, so um, we'll take a look at that in a second. Uh, disc brakes, which is kind of a must these days. It's, uh, they run clean, they, they work really well, especially in all conditions, so pretty awesome. Uh, it's a brand I've never heard of. Um, so we'll take a look at that as well and I'll give you some first ride impressions as well. Um, uh, so yeah, let's, uh, let's go take a look at the bike. Uh, I'll run you through some of that stuff we talked about um, and uh, just have a look at it and uh, if there's any questions about the uh, bike or the products, uh, yeah, please feel free to shoot me a comment or a, or a message. Uh, always happy to talk those things through. Uh, yeah, here we go. So here it is. Uh, so here's the uh, the Brunswick. It comes in this pretty nice green uh, sort of metallic uh, paint. It's uh, got a reasonably nice sparkle. Looks pretty good. Um, I've made a few modifications already, which I'll, I'll talk through, and uh, you guys can tell me what you think. But uh, just starting with uh, the main components here, it's got these flat bars, um, hydraulic brakes, light setup. It's got your mud guards, rack for commuting, rear light, belt drive. Uh, here is the three-speed Nexus internal gearing uh, and here's your removable battery and the mid-drive motor down there. Uh, so yeah, just talking through a few of the things that I uh, like about the bike. Um, obviously the motor we've talked about a little bit already. It's got a 250 watts uh, pedal assist which is pretty good. Um, that all comes on here so if we turn on the bike telling me I got lots of battery charge and we can open up the computer uh, so this bike comes with the pedal assist it's uh, got five levels of assistance I'm guessing I'll probably be in the most assistance all the time level five uh, from the computer you can toggle through and see a whole bunch of things like your distance uh, total distance, max speed, average speed, what is that, your range, how much is left, uh, oh yeah, range, so there you go, 68 kilometers in this assistance level, 
gets less with the more assistance. Uh, it's not fully charged right now. Um, calories burn, power that's being pushed through the pedals and how long. Um, so that's from there. You can also turn on and off the lights from here, which is pretty cool. So you click and hold the plus sign. There you go, we got lights. And we got lights. Uh, what's also pretty cool with the lights here, if we, even if we turn that off, uh, when you apply the brakes, uh, the rear light works as well, so. Oh, I'm not doing it, maybe you gotta be riding. Anyway, anyway, we'll get back to that. But uh, yeah, so that's so that's kind of the bike and, and uh, the power dr uh, component of it. Um, the battery is, uh, I believe it's 460 watt hours, uh, which is enough to get me home we just saw the range so you know even if i have to go into the lower range uh pedal assist i should say uh i should be able to get my you know 40 kilometers in and out every day pretty easily uh other things to look at um the saddle is something i've changed already so uh if we have a look at a few things that came with the bike um so this was the saddle that came with uh, it's a big plush saddle uh, they've put on there. Uh, my guess is the thinking was that a lot of people buying maybe would think that this is more comfortable. Um, but in reality, I've always found uh, the big plush saddles like this can actually cause more issues than, than good. Uh, you, you'll end up getting uh, pinching and stuff going on in the undercarriage and uh, that's why I've chosen to go with this Sailor Italia. It's a saddle I've used a lot. It's got this cutout through the middle to relieve pressure where you don't want it. Um, and then puts pressure onto the bony parts rather. Um, it's got some padding, but less padding, which means there's less chance of that pinching, like I said. So, so this sort of saddle works better, I think, for my anatomy and, and certainly for anything longer than uh, five or 10 kilometers on the bike. Uh, especially when you're in a slightly more forward position uh, and, and not actually sitting on the sit bones which is something like this saddle would potentially do better at. For a short ride, sitting on your actual sit bones, your ischium, that's a good, good saddle. Uh, pedals that come with the bike are just a really standard flat pedal. Um, they're okay I guess for short stuff but I'll, I'll be riding in and out quite a lot so uh, I've gone with the Shimano pedals. Um, they're they're an entry level one again, but uh, they, they'll do the job pretty well. They're SPD clipping on both sides, uh, so I can wear those shoes. But they've also got the cage, which is really nice if uh, I do want to just run flat shoes, you know, for shorter rides or whatever. Uh, the other thing that we looked at uh, changing is the tires. Um, so the tires that came with are these ones here. They're a 45 mil wide, uh, sort of designed to run on the roads mainly with pretty minimal tread. Um, they're pretty heavy. Uh, they'd be relatively bomb proof, I'm guessing. You wouldn't get a lot of punctures with them, but they also, they also just, you know, they're just heavy and kind of not adding a lot of ride feel so so i've landed up putting on these pan races which i already had on a previous bike i i love these tires they are um supple enough to get some nice ride feel uh they've got a little bit of tread if you do go off on the gravel and that but they also roll really beautifully on the road and then i gotta say i just love the look of them as well they've it's got that nice brown sidewall which has like a vintage feel about it so so that, with the green, I think looks pretty beautiful. And, and, and then obviously the saddle as well ties in. So, you know, uh, it's definitely not all about aesthetics, but if it's gonna get you excited to get on the bike and ride it more, I, I think that's important. So for me, that uh, brown is popping off the green and, and looking pretty, pretty cool. Um, one last thing I'll probably look at changing at some point are the grips. Uh, not a huge fan of these ergo grip style. Um, I find just round grips more comfortable for my hands. Um, so I'll probably end up getting a brown or a rubber, uh, a brown or gum kind of color to, to tie in with the tires and the saddle and just get it looking pretty sweet. Uh, 
what else? Let's have a look. So the bike obviously comes with a, a charger. I haven't used it yet. Uh, what we're looking at. So it's just a pretty standard plug-in. Um, apparently charges in about four hours for a full charge. So that will... Uh, We'll find out as, as we go by. I haven't got to that point yet. Um, but yeah. Uh, uh, took the bike for a few rides yesterday just to get my first initial impressions. And uh, yeah, overall I was really happy with it. Uh, it. The motor feels sufficiently powerful without being like uh, something that's like jerky so it's got a nice smooth application of the power so feels good the belt drive was awesome uh, as you can see it runs completely dry and uh, it's got such a smooth feeling as well so unlike a normal metal chain this belt drive just feels really lovely to ride and is going to be incredibly low maintenance uh, the internal gears were Pretty good. Um, I've got it tuned better now. It's quite an easy set system. Uh, you can see in here, we, you, you put it onto the second gear. That little yellow line's just gotta be in that set area. Uh, it's, it's pretty good. Um, I'm not sure about the internal gears at this point. Uh, we'll see as I ride the bike more if it's something I'm gonna hold on to, but uh, Potentially would remove that and just go to single speed seeing as I've got assistance from the motor anyway um, And then without the internal gears it will be a hell of a lot easier to Swap the wheel in and out should I need to change the tires or a tube if I get a puncture or something like that But we'll see how we go with that. Uh, we're shifting not too badly the Brakes were surprisingly good. It's this brand nut uh, I've never heard of them. Apparently they're being used quite a lot now on, on e-bikes and e-scooters as a an entry-level model But they, they actually feel really good. Um, no issues with the performance on that uh, My only concern is potentially getting spare parts should we need to shorten the hose if I need olives and uh, Nuts and all the different things uh, for that. We'll have to find out and see how easily those parts are available But they perform really nicely um, all in all, I am excited. Excited to start commuting the bike, uh, commuting in on the bike. Uh, uh, save myself a lot of petrol the way petrol prices have gone, and uh, the bike's just looking pretty good. So yeah, if you any questions? Let me know. Otherwise. Uh, that's all I got to say today about that one. Uh, hopefully that uh, answered any questions or concerns about the bike, but um, anything else, hit me up.